Hello everyone, I'm Andy Lowe from NSL Draft Central and today we'll take a closer look at American center Alex Turcotte. The top prospect is seen by many, including myself, as a top 5 prospect for the upcoming draft despite playing in the shadow of fellow teammate Jack Hughes. Born in February 2001, Turcotte managed to get 15 goals and 47 points in 39 USDP games with the US national U17 team. That stands up pretty good against past top prospect production. He also got 8 goals and 32 points in 31 USHL games. He then got the chance to play with the US national U18 team where he got 3 goals and 16 points in 19 USDP games. Despite all those crazy numbers, I was even more impressed with his play on the ice. Turcotte is a dynamic two-way center that is known as a great skater and a complete player. But now, enough of all those stats. Let's look at every aspect of Alex Turcotte's game. That means skating, shooting, passing, stick and link, defensive game, physicality, hockey IQ and competitiveness. Let's start with skating, by far the best strength of his game. Turcotte skating is one of the best of the draft. He is amazingly fast and he got a great acceleration. He can shift gear in a matter of instant and easily pass any defenseman. He is always hustling and keeps his feet moving in all three zones. His edge work is good but not amazing. He more often than not uses speed or stick and link to pass a defenseman rather than use his edge work. He can accelerate in many different ways and he is able to start from his own zone and still be the first one to raise the opponent net. He easily gets a 5 star for his skating. Let's pass to shooting. Turcotte has a decent shot. He can fire a quick precise wrister when he's at high speed or a super powerful wrist shot when he has more time and space. He had 31 goals throughout 102 games this year. I would want to see him shoot a bit more, but just evaluating his shot, I would give him 4 star. Let's look at his passing. Turcotte's vision is really good. He loves to skate around the offensive zone and find a passing line. His bread and butter are those saucer pass to decrease. With his flashy style of play, he often attracts the opponent on him, leaving more space for his teammate in the slot and Turcotte is able to find them. On zone exit, he can quickly pass at a nice speed while continuing to accelerate and his reaction time to open passing line is almost non-existent. Overall, he's a pretty decent passer. I wouldn't consider him as a playmaker, but he does often set up teammates for easy goals. I will give him 4 star. Let's now look at his stick handling. Turcot has some quick ends. He can stick and dole while gaining speed, stopping or turning and still keep the puck moving at a nice pace. On a breakaway, he loves to shoot the puck on the near side or fake that shot to go to the far side where he often beat the goalie with his speed. Stick and link is an important part of his game. He uses it on zone exit, zone entries and constantly in the offensive zone. I will give him 5 star. Let's discuss about his defensive game. Turcotte is a good two-way center, but what makes him so good defensively is his intention. He really put efforts to backcheck and cover his guy. There is plenty of examples, but on this one single play, Turcotte started as the last guy behind and managed to overtook his teammate just to come back defensively and still took part of the counter-attack. In the defensive zone, he reacts quickly when the puck goes near his guy and throws some good stick lift here and there. I will give him 4 star. Let's pass to physicality. Alex Turcotte is 5 foot 11 and weights 194 pounds. If he's undersized, he does not step back from any physical challenge. With his intensity, he is able to get out of board battle with the puck a surprisingly amount of time. He protects the puck fairly well and never give up even if he loses the possession. He's not a physical player, but he's never completely outmatched in physical battle, so I'm going to give him 3 stars. Let's now look at his hockey IQ. 
With his fleshy speed and stick handling, he likes to attract all the pressure on him to open his teammate. His complete set of skill allows him to jump from strategy to strategy and adapts to his opponent play. Every of his play are flashy but calculated. I will give him 4 stars for his hockey IQ. Let's finish with competitiveness. When I first saw Turcot's highlights, I saw a speedy and skill forward, but I was amazingly impressed with his intensity and competitiveness when watching a full game of his. He is always moving and puts all of his efforts to recover the puck or just back check to cover an extra forward. Even on the end of his shift, Turcot is able to back check, restart the attack and back check again without stopping. He might be 5 foot 11, but he does not stop an instant before jumping into the board battle or a puck in the crease. With Pete and Krebs, he is in my opinion the most intense prospect from the top of the draft, so he definitely gets a 5 stars. So in my opinion, Alex Turcotte should be in contention for the number 2 spot with Keipo Kako. He's a complete but yet very dynamic player and a type of forward that you won't find often. He can shoot, he can pass, he can outskate you, he can dangle you, he can defend against you, and he won't often be outmatched physically. That's what I call a complete player. I understand other prospects like Dallin Cousin, Kirby Dach, Pete and Krebs, and Alex Newhook are often ranked ahead of Turcot, and that's totally fair. They are all very close to each other, and those players give us a different set of skill. But I personally think Turcot is starting the year with a step in. Anyway, what do you think about Alex Turcot? Is he a top 5 prospect? The best center behind Jack Hughes? Or am I wrong and he shouldn't be in that conversation? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. I'm really looking forward to see your opinion. Subscribe for more NHL draft related videos and click here to see my scouting report on Jack Hughes. I'll see you for the next one. Here now, here I come, you can't hide. Ready or not, here I come, you can't hide. Ready or not.